Hi, I'm Brian King, Certified Orthotist and Prosthetist here at Joint Active Systems. In this video, we're going to review how to take measurements of the leg in order to get a proper fit or fabrication of a Joint Active Systems knee device. It's very important to take good, accurate measurements of the leg for the knee device in order to maximize leverage and also maximize soft tissue capture. This will assure that we're spreading those corrective forces over maximum surface area and get the most effectiveness out of the device. A few important things to remember when you're measuring your patient. First, you wanna position them on a firm chair and have them towards the edge of the chair so that you can access the leg for measuring that length. The next thing that's really important is making sure that you don't abduct the leg that you're measuring too much. That can sometimes make our upper length measurement too long. And lastly, you wanna make sure that if we're measuring for an extension device, we position the leg in the patient's maximum extension angle, or if it's a flexion device, we wanna have them in their maximum flexion angle. For our circumference measurements, we're first gonna measure the upper leg, and we're gonna move from proximal to distal, then we'll measure the lower leg. This first measurement is one and a half inches distal to the groin, and we're defining the groin as simply the top of the thigh on the medial side of the leg. In this case, we get 24 inches. If you have a patient who's wearing bulky or heavy clothing, it's important to pull the tape measure tighter to account for that. Also, if you have a patient that has less firm soft tissue, you can also pull the tape measure tighter so you can account for that compression of the soft tissue. The next measurement is going to be four inches above knee center. And in this case, we get 17 and a half inches. Keep in mind when you're taking these measurements, we recommend that you only go to the nearest quarter inch. For the lower leg, our first measurement is going to be at the largest point of the calf or the calf apex. In this case, we get 17 inches. The next measurement will be two and a half inches proximal to the medial malleolus. And in this case, we get nine and a half inches. Next, we're gonna measure the length of the upper leg and the length of the lower leg. When you measure the length of the upper leg, it's really important to establish the proper starting point for your tape measure at that groin level. We want the tape measure positioned so that we're maximizing leverage without compressing soft tissue or impinging in the groin area. So we recommend that you have the patient position the top of the tape measure at a comfortable level in reference to the groin. If you put it roughly where you measured your top circumference, that's gonna be a good starting point for most patients. We're gonna measure along the midline of the thigh down to knee center, and knee center in this case, we define as the medial epicondyle. If you have trouble palpating that medial epicondyle, it's a good idea to mark that ahead of time. So in this case, the length of the upper leg is 14 inches. For the patient's privacy, we recommend that you have them position the top of the tape measure at that groin level but you need to emphasize that we don't wanna compress soft tissue excessively when positioning that in the groin, or we don't wanna to push too forcefully upward. That's gonna give us a measurement that is too long. Also, we wanna make sure that the patient doesn't position the tape measure too far anteriorly. That again is gonna give us a proximal starting point that is too high and therefore give us a measurement that's too long. Another important tip for establishing the proper proximal starting point for your upper leg length measurement is simply visualizing where the proximal cuff is going to rest on the thigh comfortably for the patient while maximizing our leverage. Our last measurement will be the length from the medial malleolus to the knee center. And again, it's helpful to mark that if it's difficult to palpate on your patient. In this case, we get 17 and 3 quarter inches. If you have any questions regarding these measurements or certainly any other measurements for jazz devices, 
We recommend that you refer to our jazz measurement guide or give us a call here at Jazz anytime. <music>